Family, how you doing today? This is Chef D Knight with another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. So listen, before I get into Funk Up the Flavor and tell you what today's episode is all about, I want you to go to eventbrite.com and search for Date Night Catering. Just in case you don't remember what Date Night Catering looks like or how to spell it, let me show you. All right, so when you go on there and you search for Date Night Catering, I am hosting a nine-course dinner extravaganza. Date Night Catering presents a magic city moment in time. Go get your tickets. Don't delay. January 1st is the last day to get a ticket, so do not delay. All right, so today's Funk Up the Flavor episode. So it's going to be an Asian episode today. So today I'm doing two types of protein. So the first one I'm going to do a teriyaki uh, cedar plank salmon. And then the second one, I'm going to do a teriyaki marinated chicken thigh that I'm actually going to pan sear or pan fry. And to top all of that off, I'm going to make an Asian inspired slaw or Asian inspired salad. So I'm going to take the chicken and the salmon and top it on, on, put it on top of the salad. And it's just going to be some fantastic goodness. So I'll be right back to show you how to put all this together. Welcome back, family. So... I did say we were going to do a teriyaki cedar plank salmon and I'm going to do a pan fried teriyaki or um, marinated chicken thigh. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just run down the ingredients ingredients for you. Welcome back family. I did say we were going to do a teriyaki marinated salmon that I'm going to cook on cedar planks. And we're also going to do a teriyaki marinated chicken thigh that I'm actually going to pan fry. So let me show you the ingredients. Of course, you can see the boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. And this is a uh, skinless uh, salmon filet that I actually uh, just bought at the um, local fish market. Just cut it in half. If you go to Walmart, you can get it there, Publix, wherever you like to get your fish. Uh, So here, I've got four cloves of garlic. I've got about a cup and a half of teriyaki sauce. Um, I've got two chopped green onions here. Um, I've got my house seasoning. Now to this seasoning, I did add some coriander. Uh, I just kind of like it. It's uh, coriander is the seed off of uh, the cilantro plant that they dry and grind up. So I just like that flavor um, when I'm doing a little bit of an Asian cuisine. So everything else is the same here. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, granulated garlic, and my um, dried uh, parsley. And then to that, I just added a little coriander. Now, here is about three tablespoons of uh, diced ginger. So that's all gonna go in here as well. All right, so what we're gonna do, is gonna take my uh, two salmon fillets. Oh, mess up there. Don't make the mistake that I just made. (laughs) We're gonna season them first. All right. And then once I season these guys, um, I'm gonna need both my hands to work. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do so you'll see it when I come back. I'm gonna take half of all of my ingredients, half with the chicken, half with the salmon. Oh, you hear my oven going off, it's getting ready for the cedar plank salmon. All right, so I'm gonna go half of everything, half of the teriyaki, uh, half of the ginger, half of the onion, half of the garlic in the bags along with the uh, chicken and the salmon and we're gonna let that marinate for 30 minutes. I'll be right back to show you what that looks like. So here are my seasoned uh, chicken thighs, and this is the marinade mix. So I've mixed everything in here. Um, I've already bagged up the salmon. So you definitely, what you want to do first is mix the marinade. Uh, So I've got the teriyaki, the onion, the garlic, and the ginger. So all you need to do is just put your chicken thighs in the bag. One at a time, baby, just one at a time. And once you get them in there, just kind of make sure the marinade is coating everything and then just let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now, while this is marinating, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is make um, an Asian salad. My wife has been asking for this salad for about two weeks now, so I'm going to go ahead and deliver. So uh, I'll be right back to show you guys how to put that Asian salad together while the chicken and salmon are marinating. All right, family, I did tell you we were going to put the Asian salad or Asian slaw together before um, we cook the chicken. The reason is I want the, the salad to be cold. Nobody likes a warm salad unless that's what it's supposed to be. So in my metal bowl, um, I've got a cup and a half of shredded carrots. And then right here, I've got one medium-sized Napa cabbage. 
Now, you can use regular cabbage if you want. You can use red cabbage. I just like the Napa cabbage just because it's it's um, not as strong of a cabbage flavor and it's a lot more tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this up really, really thin, combine it with the carrots, and then when I come back, I'm going to show you the rest of the ingredients that are going to go into the uh, Asian so in the metal bowl family, we've got the one and a half cups of shredded carrots and then four cups of thinly sliced or chopped Napa cabbage. All right, so now I'm about to show you how to put the toppings together for the salad and then we're gonna make the sauce and right after that, we're gonna cook the salmon and the uh, chicken so we can then enjoy this dinner. So now we're going to compose the dressing or the vinaigrette for this salad, all right? So what I've got in the uh, in this metal bowl here, now I'm gonna tell you the reason I'm using the metal bowl. This is going in the fridge. And if you know anything about um, temperatures, metal is a great conductor of heat and cold. So we're gonna use the metal bowl. So this will actually cool the dressing down. So I've got in here um, a quarter cup of sesame oil and a quarter cup of olive oil now it is a half a cup of total oil so if you want to use all olive oil or all sesame oil you can nothing wrong with that I just like to split it in half just to kind of take a, a little bit of that bite off of the sesame oil so here I'm going to add a third of a cup of rice wine vinegar hence the reason this is a vinaigrette I've got two tablespoons of soy sauce and then I've got half a cup of sugar I'm probably not going to use all this sugar, maybe just leave like a tablespoon or so behind. And then all we're going to do guys, just stir this up until your sugar dissolves, place it in the fridge, and the next thing that I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you how to bring the topping together for this salad. It's oh so good. So now it's time to make the topping for this salad. So here I've got a cup of chopped green onions, half a cup of slivered almonds, ramen noodles, two packs that I crushed, all right? And beef stir fry seasoning mix and a quarter cup of butter. Now, I've got a wok on a uh, medium high heat. Actually really about a medium heat. That's about all we need because this thing gets hot. So, to my wok, I'm going to add my butter. Then I'm going to add my ramen noodles, my onions, almonds, and beef seasoning mix. This is two packs out of the ramen noodle packages. All right, so we're gonna let this cook together for about, until the noodles get uh, al dente. So we really don't wanna cook the noodles all the way through. We want a little bit of a crunch uh, to the noodles as well as the almonds. So we're just gonna let this go, I say about maybe five to six minutes. And then once that's done, I'm gonna pull it off, sit it in my metal bowl right here. And then we're just gonna let that sit out. Do not refrigerate this because you kind of want this to be room temperature when you top it on the salad. And uh, then we'll do a little dressing on top. Now right before we compose the salad, we'll go ahead and pop the salmon and the chicken in and we'll be good to go. So here is our salmon that's been marinating for about 30 minutes. Now on this I have some uh, cedar plank sheets. Uh, you can get these at Walmart, uh, Target, um, Publix. I'm trying to think of all the places I've seen them. Um, you can get them online. So, or if you just want to use a traditional cedar plank, you can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use my kitchen twine that uh, that actually comes with these. Uh, that's also been, um, that I'm gonna dip in the water just so it doesn't burn when I put these in the oven. I'm gonna take a couple tablespoons of marinade, pour that over this, and then I'm gonna put these in the oven on 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna cook the chicken uh, pan fry style, and then once that's done, I'm gonna put all of this together and show you guys what this Asian salmon 
or Asian chicken salad looks like. All right, so I've just dropped the salmon in the oven. It's on 400 degrees, and that's gonna go for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, I'm gonna drop the chicken in my wok. So I've already dropped one piece in, so we're gonna go with the second piece right here. Please remember, do not overcrowd your pan. So this can probably actually hold three pieces. So we'll go ahead and drop that third piece in. So this is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook as well. About seven to eight minutes on each side. And then once this is all done, I'm gonna you know, go ahead and slice up the chicken. Then I'll go ahead and uh, place the salmon on top of the salad, put the salad together, and then show you guys what the final dish is gonna look like. Family, welcome back. This is it. So I've completely composed the teriyaki salmon with the Asian salad. So let me show you what this looks like. Now before I show you what this looks like, let me tell you what I did. So you took the, the cabbage and the carrots that were in the fridge, I added my dressing to that, and then I topped it with my green onion, ramen noodle, um, almond mixture that we stir fried earlier. And then on top of that, I laid the filet of salmon. So let me show you what that looks like. And if you hear anything in the background, that's my son. He didn't want to eat this dish, but he did eat the chicken and said it was phenomenal. So there we go. All right. Got a good look at that. All right, here we go. About to dive in. And once again, We'll funk up the flavor. This is the first time I've ever made this dish. So I do that intentionally so that everyone who watches these videos and has the courage to go out and uh, try to funk up the flavor and do something different with what you're, you're accustomed to eating will be able to with ease. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what we're working with here. All right, here we go. Look, hold on. I'm gonna go in again. Um, listen. The sweetness from the teriyaki, the the crunch from the the cabbage, and the, and the carrots, the the saltiness from the soy. Yeah, the sweetness from the sugar. I mean, I taste it all. This is a very delicious dish. So please go out and make this. Drop your comments, your likes, subscribe in, um, in the link below. This is red wine. I need a little bit tonight. So before I let you go, I always end with a positive note. You realize what you energize. So whatever you decide to consciously and physically give energy to, that's what's going to happen for you. So when you wake up in the morning, man, tell yourself that you're amazing. Tell yourself that you're awesome. Man, I, had, I don't care what the situation looks like. You encourage yourself through it because you know why? You can do it. Just like Nike say, you can do it. So listen, family, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in today to another episode of Funk Up the Flavor. Please share, like. Watch the video, comment on it, give me any feedback that you would like just so I can get better for you. So thank you so much for checking it out. Signing off, Chef D-Knight.